Robin was about up three points. Got to be happy. I know there was some some discussion on Tiger Talk earlier this week about you and Cantrell having a competition as far as tackles. He, uh, he got off to a pretty good start, huh? Yeah. Sorry. Got to You're good. Big crap. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm, I'm a little banged up right now, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. How, how about the? Uh, how big was the? I've never seen a quick kick blocked. Have you? I blocked one in high school. That's did it? No, I, uh, I did, but uh, I mean, he just jumped up and got it, man. We had a you know perfect call, blitz right into where he was kicking, and uh, he reached up, and the ball went right into his hand. So he flew halfway across the field. A couple of guys, I know you you're familiar with St. Louis kids. How about? Uh, how, how about uh, Nate Howard and Terry Beckner there in the fourth quarter? Hey, man, they got, I'm glad they got in and got some experience. And, and, and Nate made some plays and Terry made some good plays. Uh, you know, Nate got off the ball real quick a few times before they even out of their stance. So, I mean, it's cool to see those guys get some experience and make some plays and build a little confidence going into the year. Just overall thoughts on the defense. Uh, three points. Yeah, we let up three points. And I looked at the scoreboard at one point, and they put up the stats, and they had like eight passing yards and zero rushing yards, and we had like 200. So uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, you know, we, there's a few things we can definitely fix to uh, stop some of their long plays. And uh, once we do that, we'll be pretty solid. Coach says any good. Connor, how are you doing? Good, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. today. I mean, we got stuff to improve on, like always, but I think we played played decent. You know, we'll go back and watch film and uh, get a little better. Did you have to make any adjustments after hands were one out with that ankle injury early in the game? Uh, not really. I mean, we have an army of running backs, so it's it's uh, it's a good thing for us. How about when Evan limps off? But I think about two plays later. I mean, you yep. know, what's the what's the thought there? I know we we have so much depth this year that it's. I mean, it, it's obviously a huge. Well, true. Speed uh, pick, man. <laughs> it's finally good to be on the field. You know, I'm sick and tired of sitting in the stands for those four or five years that uh, you know observe recruiting me and. To finally be on the field, it means a lot to me, and obviously it was a fun day. Did, did you take any time, this is like one of those cliche questions, but did yeah. you take any time when you first went out there and just thought, man, I, I'm here, it's finally happening? Or you game no, I was more concerned about calming myself down. I had to take a couple big breaths, and Evan Evan was big and helped me on that, and you know, just kind of... You know, just relax a little bit, and I knew that I'd play my best ball if I was relaxed, so I had to get that way. Is it nerve-wracking when a guy is that wide open to have to make that pass? No, not. It was more nerve-wracking running my first play, you know. So after I got that first play out of the way, I knew that, you know, I'd be all right, and that's, you know, I feel like I played pretty well after that. Drew, you can't control who else is on the roster, but let's say you were going, could you play a whole game? Do you feel confident enough to play a whole game right now? I mean, I would like to say I am, but obviously Maddie's our leader there, and he's a good quarterback, and that's what I'm learning underneath, and I couldn't be more you know, okay with learning underneath him. Drew, when you left the field, I saw Maddie kind of pull you towards the bench pass. What did he tell you after that first drive? Just a good job. You know, I mean, he's been really good to me as far as helping me learn and teaching me everything that I need to know. I couldn't be more thankful for him. He's done for me. And he just kind of calmed me down, and like I said, even, even Maddie had to do it. It was a little emotional for me. Were you still nervous after that first drive? Or? No, once I came back out on the field, it was pretty much is, you know, I've been here before already, maybe it was only one drive, but you have been here as far as I come down. Well, can you take me, what was the emotions like that, that first quarter, kind of knowing when you get to the second quarter, it's going to be your turn, but I mean, having to sit there and wait for the, you know, did, did time just move incredibly slow for you? Or? Yeah, I knew I'd have to sit and wait. I mean, they told me, you know, first year, second quarter, so I was more concerned about what the defense was doing, just trying to figure out what they were doing, because I wanted to go out there and be the most successful quarterback that I could be. So, I mean, it was a little long, and it, and it drug on, and uh, I wanted to Get in there, but it was good. It was a good weight, I guess. I can't imagine that a 78 yard bomb on a broken plate at Tyler Hunt was how you imagined your first touchdown at the Zoo Gulf. Right? No, not at all. And even in, in practice, we'll just run normal drills and all over drills. But, I mean, <laughs> seeing that it was Tyler, I, I mean, I couldn't be more proud to throw a touchdown in the game, but to Tyler was great. How, how, how sure were you that he was going to get to that corner and beat that safety to the pylon? Couldn't have been more positive. <laughs> I feel like I got pretty well. Obviously, it was a whirlwind walking off the field, but uh, once you got to the sideline, you put your arm around the it was a good day for us. Was it nice to have a lot of guys get to see the field? I mean, having the first kind of game in the over again. Okay, I'm going to spell them up. I really came in, I didn't know what to expect. Do you have uh, family and friends able to make the trip up? My family did. Yeah. Good deal. Thanks. I want to join too. You got a question for him? <laughs> no. No, I won't do that to him yet. Not yet.
So t- talk about your, uh, squeeze a little bit closer, talk about your uh, your relationship with each other uh, on, on the field and how you work with each other. Here, I'll let him in. He's, um, he's more of the, like, the father figure and old man in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> but talk about nerves, uh, focus coming into the game. What, what were your thoughts? Um, I really tried to... I really tried to focus on just doing my job and not, you know, not worrying about anything else. Um, I mean, I was really more excited than nervous to play. So, uh, Andrew, you uh, having some back issues, but uh, looks like you're kicking the ball pretty well. Yeah, um, just been rehabbing it, um, getting to a really good place. Um, just gotta make sure, you know, do my part for the team. So, uh, you know, it's nothing big anymore. Uh, Corey did a great job doing kickoffs. Uh, we knew for a while that he was gonna do that. I couldn't necessarily tell you guys that ruin all the fun, but uh, you know, he did a phenomenal job coming in there and doing two jobs. You know, his first first game ever. You know, instead of just punting, which is obviously why he came here, uh, he got to do both, and he did a phenomenal job. Um, you know, you just, you just hope that you kind of told him enough things to make sure that he you know, was ready to go. And, you know, it's exciting getting to watch him. So when you kind of were ribbing Corey to us after the last scrimmage, you know, we described a lot. So I want to say it was just cool just not really knowing what we are in as a defense and then want to, you know, just take shots and give us, you know, takeaways, what we known for. So that was kind of, you know, a key moment. We got the phone recovery for Charles because that's big. We need as many takeaways as possible. And, you know, they tried to take the passing game away from us or we get takeaways. So we had to, you know, just get it in the trenches. You've got your assignments as the day comes along. You got to stop. You 